Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to include animated GIFs into your HTML emails uh, from your Figma designs using the Emailify plugin. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is just go to the Figma community, search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and if you click on the install button next to the result uh, under the plugins tab, uh, that'll install the Emailify plugin and we can get started. So I'm just opening up a new Figma file and I can run the plugin just by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins and clicking on the Emailify uh, item. So that's just going to run the plugin that we just installed. And the first thing we need to do is just create a new frame. So I'm just going to call this one uh, GIF email just so we can do a test. And I'm going to click on add new Emailify container. Uh, so this is going to add a new frame to your canvas and that's going to allow us to include these content modules um, which I've covered in some other tutorials if you want a deep dive on those. Um, you can also include custom modules as well. Um, so what we can do to add GIFs is I'm going to run through the few different ways that uh, you can include GIFs in your design. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is a hero background. So you can use a GIF as a hero background. So if you find one of the content modules uh, which are hero backgrounds, so for example this full width background image uh, is one, um, there's also other ones like the hero CTAs, um, these will also work. Um, so what you can do to include GIFs on those is just click on the frame uh, so it'll add this brand new component and you just want to click on that component and where you've got the fills on the right hand side you want to click on the image fill and you can see here it's got the default one uh, but we want to actually put our own one in there. So I'm just going to grab a GIF that I downloaded from the internet and drag that into the fill and that's going to include that as the background fill. Um, so that allows us to keep all of the text as rich text and it allows us to have the GIF as an actual background image. Um, so this background is a little bit lighter so what we can do is we've already got a fill on there, um, a transparent fill. We can increase um, that value so it's a bit darker um, if you want the, the contrast to be a bit better so you can include that. Um, just make it however you want um, and that's going to include the fill on top of the GIF when it gets exported. Um, so that's the first way you can use GIFs. Um, the second way is just by using them as inline images. So for example if you get any of these image components, uh, so I might just add this one, and what you can do is the exact same thing. You want to drill down into the um, image layer, so inside of the column you've got the image frame, and again we've already got an image fill set but we obviously want to replace that and add our own one. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to add this other GIF. So I can add that GIF in there and uh, I can do another one. So I'll just add another frame, do the exact same thing. I'm going to click on the image fill and I'm going to drag a GIF in there. So that's adding another GIF. Um, and then the third thing I can do is I can actually create content modules or content uh, inline content images um, which allow us to just drag and drop the image onto the content as well. So let's say I've already got um, a text component for example, so I can click on that. And while this doesn't have any, any images yet, uh, what I can do is actually drop an image on there. So if I want to make this a little bit narrower and drop a brand new GIF in there, I can just drag uh, that GIF straight into the frame. And if you have a look on the left hand side, you'll see that inside of the content column uh, the GIF has been added as a as just an inline kind of GIF. So it's not set as a frame background, uh, it's not set as a component background, it's just a layer uh, in and of itself. Um, so that's the other way that you can add GIFs in there. So we can move that around. And um, there's, there's benefits to doing each of these. So I'll run through those really quickly. Um, the first thing to know is that you can apply um, any additional fills on top of any of these. So for example, if I wanted to add an overlay to this um, GIF image, I can click on the plus icon next to the Figma fills, uh, click on that. So I can do things like add uh, opacity, uh, color with some opacity. Um, I can create a, a gradient, so I could do a, um, a colored gradient. So we could do something like that. Um, and that would allow us to add a gradient on top. So you can, you can do that. And when the GIF gets exported, the gradient will actually be included in the GIF. Um, so that's one thing that you can do with, with any of these GIF images. 
Um, the advantage to having a frame, so for example, these ones are actually um, frames rather than an image layer. Um, and the advantage to having a frame is you can do things like add other layers inside of the frame. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so if I click on this image layer, I'm going to add a fill just to make it a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to add a fill on top of that. But then now that this is a frame, I can actually add layers within that frame. Uh, so that allows me to add things like text. So I can add uh, text. So I can say uh, sushi that's sleeping. So I can put a little text overlay on there. Uh, you could include other static images on top of that. And that'll all get included in the export. Uh, the other thing that you can do with something like uh, the hero. So we've got this hero background. Um, the other thing that we can do there is also add um, images, static images to that too. So what I can do is I can maybe copy this uh, as a PNG. So I'm just going to copy that layer and I'm going to jump into my hero and I'm going to paste that. So I'm just going to scale that down and move that to the top. And maybe I'll put some border radius on there. And what that's going to do is it's going to include this as an image layer inside of the hero background. So what that means is it's going to leave the background image as an animated GIF, but you can also include this image as its own image element. Uh, so the difference between this method and the frame method is that this will still get exported as a single image, whereas these two will get exported as two different images. So the background image on the hero will be exported as a GIF, and the uh, image here will be exported as its own uh, image on top of that. Um, so if that doesn't make any sense, I'll do an export now just to show you what I mean by that. Um, and you'll actually get a sense of what this all looks like when it gets exported. Um, so the other thing to quickly note is that this will not show up in the preview. So if you click on the preview button uh, in the header, uh, you'll notice that the GIFs don't actually get rendered. Um, so we've got We've got all of our, our images as we expected, um, but they're all static and that, that's, that's expected. Um, you basically have to render out the GIFs from Figma and this takes a little bit of time. Um, so the preview at the moment doesn't actually do this automatically, um, but the way that we can see it in uh, the export is just by clicking on the export button. And I'm just gonna click on the export to code button and that's gonna now export our email to HTML uh, from Figma. And it's also going to go through and export any GIFs that it picks up on that we just added. Um, so we've added four separate GIFs. So it's going to go through, detect all those GIFs, render them out, um, and that's just finished. So what we need to do is just click on download your zip file. If we click on that, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And once that saves, we can actually go ahead and open that in our browser. So I'm just going to double click on the zip file, open up the folder, and I'm just going to drag the preview onto my browser. So there we go. Now you can see the GIFs actually being rendered out from Figma. So we've got our background GIF uh, with the opacity uh, layer included on the top. And we've got our rich text over the top, which is real selectable text. It hasn't been included in the GIF. Um, and we also have our image. So this image is its own image that's been uh, exported to sit on the top of the hero. And uh, the hero is a very special kind of uh, element because it does allow that real background image. Most of the other uh, normal rows don't allow that, but the heroes do. Uh, and then we've got our other GIF here. So this is the GIF that we included the fill, the overlay fill on, and the embedded text. So this text is embedded in the GIF. Um, it's not sitting on top. It's not like this rich text. Um, that's all embedded in that GIF image. Um, this is the GIF that we left as is. So this was just uh, completely untouched. We didn't add any fills. We didn't add any text layers, anything like that. And finally, we have our inline uh, image. So this was the image that we dragged and dropped directly uh, onto the folder, uh, onto the Figma file. And uh, that's included the gradient on top as well. So we've got the gradient, we've got the normal one, we've got the opacity, and we've got the hero. Um, so we can also do things like scale this image down. By default, it'll just go to 100% width. Um, I've covered this in some other tutorials, um, but just really quickly, what you can do is you can click on that image, click on the settings icon, and you can actually override those widths and heights. So that's what that looks like there. You could put in something like 44, like 44 pixels maybe, 
um, and that would export it as 44 by 44 or if you want to do 103 as it is now you can do that um, or you can also just uncheck the 100% fluid width and that will work as well um, but yeah that's basically what it looks like um, the gifts all get included and um, yeah these are directly from Figma so you don't have to do any extra work to uh, upload them anywhere else um, to get them into the HTML um, but of course you will have to upload these as images online somewhere if you're sending them via um, an email you want to use something like a MailChimp or a Klaviyo or a um, campaign monitor service something like that um, but yeah this tutorial is just basically going through the um, including the GIFs how they work what the different types of GIFs are and uh, just running through that specifically so yeah this has been a highly requested feature uh, we just shipped this recently so um, I hope that you enjoy it and if you've been wanting to include GIFs into your emails and not have to manually replace it in the HTML as I know uh, as I know has previously been the only way to do it then uh, this should save you a lot of time uh, including those GIFs so as always thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one